The following video is a representation of the key elements and processes engaged when conducting helicopter operations to offshore helidex, with the aim to promote safe and efficient turnaround operations. The video has been the outcome of an industry collaboration between members of both IOGP and Heli Offshore and is intended as an aid memoir to personnel engaged in offshore helideck operations. It is not a replacement or substitute for formal national or company training requirements. Prior to the helicopter arriving, the helicopter landing officer, HLO, will meet with the helideck assistants, HDAs, and fire guard and will conduct a toolbox talk or safety briefing, ensuring that the following checks and tasks have been completed. Area clear of obstructions in the 210 degree obstacle free sector, OFS. Area clear of obstructions or vessels in the 180 degree falling gradient sector. Rotor downwash hazard areas, no loose items on or in the vicinity of the helideck. Detailed foreign object debris, FOD, check of helideck. Ensure radio room has alerted standby vessel. No unauthorized personnel in the vicinity of the helideck. Handrails down. Perimeter nets are secure. Emergency access points are clear. Firefighting equipment is checked, serviceable, and readily available. This includes items such as the crash box, primary and complementary media, etc. Hot work suspended. Cranes in rest position and secured. Present weather confirmed and report issued to inbound flight. Pitch, roll, heave, helideck inclination, and significant wave height should also be provided for mobile installations and vessels. Inbound passenger or cargo manifest received. Handheld radio communications checked between radio room or bridge and if fitted with headsets, HDAs and fire team. Helideck lighting confirmed switched on and serviceable floodlights off. If refueling is required, ensure daily inspection or quality checks have been completed with a satisfactory result. When the pilots make the initial contact, approximately 20 minutes out, the radio operator will inform the helicopter of any vessels within 1,000 meters from the installation. The radio operator will receive the following information from the arriving helicopter. Estimated time of arrival, location and amount of cargo, number of passengers and any fuel requirements. In difficult weather conditions or special cargo, Evaluate the need for and requisition extra personnel. This is an example of a radio transmission between the helicopter and the installation. THP Pro, Chopper 1 is 20 minutes out with 8 packs, no fuel required. THP Pro. Chopper 1, this is TH Pro, copy 20 minutes out. Winds are 230 degrees and 5 knots. You have 8 packs inbound, no fuel required. Report 5 minutes out. The HLO or radio operator will advise the approaching helicopter to either continue or hold at a safe distance and altitude away from the facility and will also provide any additional information that was not relayed during the 20 minute radio call. This is an example of a radio transmission between the helicopter and the installation when the helicopter is 5 minutes out. THP Pro, Chopper 1 is 5 minutes out, confirm banding gear down and request green bank for THP Pro. Chopper 1, TH Pro copy 5 minutes out. Weather update from center of the helideck. Wind 230 degrees at 5 knots. Altimeter 2998. Continue approach and over to HLO for deck availability, TH Pro. The HLO will move off the helideck to a position where the helicopter and helideck operations can be positively controlled. All collapsible handrails are lowered when leaving the helideck. 
Teledeck status lights are managed differently by offshore operators, so review your own operational procedures as applicable. THB Pro, Chopper 1 is on final approach for THB Pro. Chopper 1, TH Pro, HLO copy final approach. Deck is available for landing for TH Pro. After the helicopter has landed, do not enter the helideck until the anti-collision lights have been turned off. If the aircraft is shutting down, wait for the pilot to signal shutdown either via hand signal or radio. Do not enter the helideck until blades have completely stopped and the anti-collision lights have been turned off. When the HLO has received a thumbs up from the pilots, the helideck railings will be raised and locked into position. The helideck crew will enter the helideck via the safe zones for that specific type of helicopter. The S-92 is used in this scenario. The HDAs will either place a set of sandbags or wheel chocks around the main undercarriage. The type of chalk will depend if a helideck net is fitted or not. As a minimum, one of the main wheels must be chalked. The HLO will take up a position that is safe and that will provide clear visual contact with the pilots and to supervise the turnaround procedure. The HDAs will manage the offloading of bags and cargo and will secure the inbound load in a safe area clear of the helideck. This is to prevent any loose articles or items being displaced by the rotor downwash. Once the bags and cargo have been offloaded, one of the HDAs will open the cabin door and with permission from the pilot via the HLO, signal to the passengers that it is now clear to disembark. Passengers are now allowed to undo their seat belts and proceed to the closest and safest exit. The second HDA will position 90 degrees to the cabin door and stand in a position just clear of the rotor disc to direct passengers via the safe zones. Passengers must follow the directions of the deck crew at all times. Passengers must always ensure to have three points of contact when descending down any stairs from the helideck to the heli lounge or waiting area. The HLO will provide the pilots with the return passenger and cargo manifest and will also collect the incoming manifest at the same time. When all the arriving passengers have cleared the deck, the deck crew will start to load any return cargo in the baggage compartment and prepare the aircraft cabin. On completion of loading the cargo, the HLO will signal to the deck crew that it is clear to start boarding. One HDA will escort passengers in a single file via the safe zones. Passengers will be instructed to drop their bags in the designated safe area clear of the helideck and continue to board the helicopter. The HDAs will manage the carriage and loading of the bags and securing it in the baggage compartment. As soon as the passengers are on board and the bags are loaded, one of the HDAs will close and secure the baggage compartment. The other HDA, or sometimes the non-handling pilot, will do another head count and ensure passengers have their life jackets and seat belts on properly and secured. The HLO should maintain his position throughout the turnaround or refuel as much as possible to maintain full control of the helideck and adequate situational awareness. The HLO will do a final check of all fuel caps, if the helicopter was refueled, and ensure that all doors and panels are secured. The HLO will return to his position in front of the helicopter, whilst each of the HDAs will wait near the main undercarriage to remove the chocks when instructed to do so. When the pilots have completed their pre-takeoff checks, they will use this hand signal to inform the HLO to remove the chocks. Once removed, the HLO will show the pilots the removed chocks. The helideck crew will vacate the helideck and collapse the railings. The HLO will inform the pilots that the deck is clear and that all doors are secure, either via a thumbs up or via radio. Once the helicopter is ready to depart, the pilots will switch on the anti-collision lights. The helicopter will lift off into the hover, turn into wind, and then continue the takeoff after the pilots have completed the required checks. The HLO and Helideck team 
will remain in position until the helicopter is airborne and has completed a safe departure. The HLO and Helidec team will complete the post-departure checks, securely stow all equipment, carry out a check of the Helidec to ensure the area has no loose articles that may have fallen from the aircraft on departure, and is free from FOD. The HLO will conduct a debrief with his team. Helideck management and the diligence of key trained personnel are key to safe helicopter operations to and from offshore helidecks. The maintenance of the helideck installation and associated equipment together with the upkeep of recurring training for the HLOs, HDAs and radio operators represent a major contribution to continued safe operations. Thank you for your attention.